Good evening, it's Monday, August 12th, and welcome to this SCW News Digest. We are reporting tonight from the 1800th block of Pacific Avenue, also known as the Miracle Mile. And this is where a fire charred the inside of Stockton's historic Empire Theater. This is now being investigated. The fire started around 7.20 Sunday night. It brought crowds of people out to watch as firefighters tried to save the iconic building. Today, the outside of the building does not look different aside from the open doors that gave people an inside look at the destruction caused. As of this hour, we still have no word as to how the fire started yet, but people who work around here have been complaining about transients and a spike in crime in this since the city shut down this building last year. What we do know is that a motion by the city to put the building in receivership was denied recently, meaning that there is no timeline at this point as to when this, this building could open again. Regardless, we will continue to follow updates in this story as we do get them. We'll pass those updates along to you. Switching gears now, yesterday evening, Stockton Police Department officers were able to seize a loaded handgun and a magazine. The traffic stop happened near Lincoln and Howard Streets. When officers searched a vehicle, they found a loaded 9mm handgun with an extension magazine. 37-year-old Ariel Blanco was arrested without incident and he's now facing weapons charges. We'll have more news after this. Hi, this is Wayne Richardson coming to you from Stockton and where we serve the homeless of San Joaquin County. If you know somebody that's homeless and needs help, please refer them to us. Also, we covet your prayers and financial support. If you want to volunteer, please contact us. God bless you and have a great day. A local leader in the Filipino community has passed away. Stocktonian and college professor Don Mabalon passed away, according to her family, while on vacation in Hawaii Friday. She was a local author and activist. On social media, she was praised by the people who knew her. Our condolences, of course, go out to her family. Now, I wanted to bring you just a little bit closer in here to the whole situation. This is a building that caught fire last night. This is the same fence, or gate, I should say, that firefighters tried to open. In fact, they had to break a lock that was down there. Today, we saw crews, construction crews, making new bolts that go into the metal here just to prevent people from re-inhabiting this property for now. Now, there's still no word yet, though, on any added security measures aside from this bolting of the doors. And we have seen, of course, some wood panels being placed over doors and windows as well. We'll continue to follow updates in this story as it develops, and we'll continue to pass along those investigations as we, of course, get results from that. And that's all for our SCW News Digest tonight. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again here tomorrow.